Hello everyone, the original Ginger here with part 10 of Tomb Raider Anniversary. And today we are doing the Obelisk of Kamoon. And so we pull the switch here and that'll extend a bridge, or drop a bridge I suppose. Um, basically the point of this is you see you've got one, two, three, and then the fourth that we just dropped, bridges. And we need to drop each one of them in order to reach these artifacts, which we'll pick up all at once when we get there. So let's go ahead and move on. And there are an awful lot of traps in this in this stage. This is probably the most traps that we've run into yet. Similar to what I did with St. Francis Folly, when um, when I come to things that I can talk about as far as the mythology and things go, I will. So, and here's the first. And this is a depiction of Anubis, who is the god of uh, death and the underworld and mummification. And he is mummifying Osiris here, who... We'll also talk a bit about Osiris as we go. Osiris, or Osiris, depending on how you want to say it, is one of the most important gods in Egyptian mythology. Because he's considered the father of all pharaohs. And there in this room is a really cool mural that actually shows several of the really important gods that we're going to talk about here. There are hundreds of Egyptian gods, so we aren't even going to begin to get to all of them, obviously, but any of them that are explicitly depicted, we will try to talk about at least a little bit. And that's a jump that I was missing earlier on, so I'm glad that I got it so easily this time. What we see on the walls here are a few more of the gods. It looks like that might be some of Isis. They're kind of broken, so it's hard to tell. But there's some ones in better repair up a bit higher. So we'll talk about those shortly when we get to them. And I don't know how accurate all of the... Uh, oh, I f almost fell. All of the hieroglyphs and things actually are. I know a very, very little bit of some basic hieroglyphics, so... But here we have a nice little mural of some of the more important gods that we're going to talk about. This is Horus, and he is the god of protection basically, um, and the son of Isis, who's actually depicted twice here, and also the son of Osiris, who we saw getting embalmed way down there by the floor, by Anubis. Um, and Isis is basically the mother goddess. Um, Horus, basically all the pharaohs pharaohs were considered to be earthly versions of Horus. Let's and his eye is important and we'll get to that later. And Osiris over here, he's dead, hence the green skin. He was actually resurrected by Isis because he's Isis's husband and um yeah interesting stuff. We'll get into exactly what happened with all that here in just a few minutes. Let me try to make this jump first though. Crap! I know I'm supposed to do that. Okay, we're back here on this ledge and let me look around for a second to make sure that I'm not missing something obvious. 
Um. Yeah, see, we can't reach up there yet. I don't think. Yeah, that's too high. I'm thinking that we do have to make this jump. Let's try going right along the wall. There we go. Good God. So Osiris here that we're right next to. He is the father of Set. And Set was actually his first son. And Set, Set is not a good guy. And Set decided that it would be a grand idea to just kill Osiris. So he does, and has him embalmed, and then puts him puts his casket in the Nile River. Let's go a little higher. Stop. Yeah, and puts the casket in the Nile River, and Osiris's uh, junk gets eaten off by a catfish while he's dead. And then Isis comes along and is like, oh my god, my husband, he's dead. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get high enough with this. Let's try right along here. And so, she resurrects Osiris and fashions a golden penis for him. And they use that apparently functional golden dong to, damn it! Okay, as I was saying, um, Isis and Osiris use that apparently functional golden junk to conceive Horus, who we see right here. And, uh, And yeah, in a battle between Horus and Set, who killed their father, um, Horus ends up losing an eye, and that eye became the symbol, the Eye of Horus, who, which is a very, very important symbol to Egyptian mythology. So anyway, that's kind of the basic of their story. Oh, hello, mummy. Alright. Here's more depictions of Anubis. Alright. These bars, as you can see, they're in slots. So, when you grab them, they will start... Yeah. Why is she doing that? I'm jumping up on it. She imme immediately is climbing down when I'm not pressing anything on the directional buttons. Damn it. Okay. Weird glitches from time to time in this game. Okay. I'm annoyed. I need a new controller. This one's beat all to hell. There we go. Anyway, I might cut a little bit of that. I might not. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Okay. More traps. There we go. Jump. Alright, so, I believe what we want to do is come across here. Yeah, we pull this switch. And that should also, that should drop the bridge, should also open up a gate on the other side. Okay, and that takes us to our next destination.
Hmm. I'm hearing all kinds of stuff making noise and things. Oh crap, the blade traps. So we got blade traps here, and these are a pain in the ass. Okay. Some of them you can duck under, some of them you can't. One way or the other, they're not good. They can do quite a bit of damage. Ah, this room. Okay. There's a group of mummies down in the bottom of this room. Or maybe just one mummy? Maybe I'm not thinking of the right room. Come on, bitch. Okay, this one here, here's another uh, depiction of Horus, and this here is Thoth, uh, or Thoth. I'm not really 100% sure how you pronounce that, but, uh, but he's basically the god of wisdom. He brought hieroglyphs to Egypt and uh, also represents the moon, which was a symbol of wisdom. So, let's look around for a second. Health pack. Okay, we may or may not end up needing that. Okay, we still don't need those. We've got a couple paths we can take here. One is... Okay. No, we already came through this way, didn't we? No, we didn't, because we came from the top of this building. Yeah, let's do this later. Um, might as well finish up this room while we're in here. Okay, let's grab another health pack. I just absolutely love these areas. I like Egyptian art anyway. And they did so well with having it just all over the damn place here. Pick some more stuff up. Okay. Ooh, we can't reach up there. I don't think we need to be up there anyway. Okay. Yeah, okay. So here we have these traps that... Or these uh, areas we have to cross that pass across these blades. No, 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 no. That was wrong. Yeah, well, watching some walkthroughs and things of this, this level seems to be widely disliked by people. And I'm not sure why, because whoa, 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 drop off. I really like it. Yeah, it's a little more difficult as far as traps and stuff go, but I love the traps. That's part of the freaking fun, in my opinion. Ah, here we go. 